My name's Scott Hill, and I'm from I'm born and raised in Argolite. A lot of people don't know where that is, but uh, Greenup County, and uh, I moved to the big city of Wortland now, also in Greenup County. Uh, of course, I'm partial, but uh, my mom was very special. She was that mother who would just do anything for us kids, and you know, she was that that one person you just knew loved you. Whenever I was in college, and uh, she would she was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer around that time, and um, we weren't necessarily um, growing up really into preventive medical care. My mom had had some uh, radiation and she'd have some, had some different treatments and um, had really kind of, we thought cancer was in the rearview mirror. We thought we had beat it, um, had seemed to be getting some good reports and things of that nature. But her leg was swollen up pretty significantly and I said, Mom, I said, you need to go to the doctor and get that checked. And uh, we were raised, you know, way out in Argolite. And she said, um, Scott, I've got an appointment tomorrow. And that was Monday. She said, I'm gonna go to the doctor tomorrow and have my leg checked. I said, okay, you know, but I wish you'd go on and get it checked now, you know. And uh, my dad and we all tried to encourage her, but she had an appointment the next morning on Monday. So she waited and uh, she was getting up and getting ready for her appointment. And uh, I guess she had a blood clot in her leg that moved and uh, it took her life. I'll never forget, I was at Eastern Tech University on a Monday and I heard a knock at my door and my dad um, was standing there. And I could tell um, that something was wrong. That's 30 years ago, you know, it's 30 years ago that she passed. Um, and still today, I remember him saying, um, Scott, your mother's passed away. And uh, I just, couldn't believe it. It was just complete shock. You know, it just, it's something that, um, when you're not expecting that and you're so close, it's very hard. My sister, and, and it's kind of hard to believe, but my sister was diagnosed with cancer. And the day that she was diagnosed with cancer, they told her that she would live for two weeks. I think I was one of her first phone calls. She wanted me to know and uh, me and my brother drove to a Tennessee hospital and uh, we were with her and she looked at me and said that, Scott, the doctor just told me that I have cancer and that I have two weeks to live. And about two weeks later on Valentine's Day, uh, she passed away. You know, my mom died in her, her upper 40s. My sister died when she was 50. I'm sitting here today at 50, so it's made me very aware to do the checks and make sure that I'm getting the annual checks and I'll you know, get with Dr. Deathridge and he'll run some proactive blood work and you know, we do all the things that we need to do. If there had been some screenings and done some proactive checks, I think their life could have been extended. They could have spent some more time maybe uh, with my children, their grandkids, you know, their, their nieces, their nephews, those kinds of things. So kind of heartbreaking when you think about it really. Uh, you look back on it and you go, man, things could have probably been a little different. And so I think basically what I would say to the women that are out there, especially, um, don't put that off. Don't, I would not put that off. I mean, to be able to have time with your kids and with your grandkids, what's that worth? Is it worth the inconvenience and in going through a mammogram, some proactive preventive health care? Absolutely. I'm Jerry Pennington. I work here in the marketing department at King's Daughters. And I'm originally from Grayson, and I've been here about 17 years. My mom was really awesome. Um, you've heard the phrase that someone who doesn't know a stranger, she was she was that way. She was, you know, just so welcoming. You know, anybody could come in, and uh, she was just so friendly, so outgoing, and I could, everybody liked her. <laughs> she was um, first diagnosed with breast cancer at age 55. Uh, that was probably, that was the early 2000s. At the time, she opted to do a lumpectomy to remove it rather than doing a mastectomy. So um, she did that and was, for about 10 years, everything was fine. And um, so then about, I think she was 66 when she got her second diagnosis that the cancer was back and it was a metastatic breast cancer that had already spread to other areas. And then she uh, battled that for four years and she passed away when she was 70. The story is not just about my mom here, it's, it's really about that side of the family. Um, her sister had died of breast cancer a few years before that, um, and so had her mother, my grandmother. And 
um, my great grandmother also died of breast cancer. And then it's on that side of the family. My grandmother had five of her six sisters also had breast cancer. And then I have a cousin who was diagnosed at age 33. Both my mother, her sister, and my grandmother had genetic testing. And so far of the known genetic markers for breast cancer, they were all negative. They didn't have them. So that's why I think, um, I think genetic testing is very important. It's like, obviously there's a long way to go because obviously there's something there and it's just not been identified yet. So the more research we can do on that, the, uh, the better chance it may help someone down the road. It's one of the things that really scares me about this is I have a daughter, she's 22 years old, and you know, I'm afraid that she may have to face this someday. So in that aspect, we really want to be, you know, as a family, proactive, healthy, be sure to get our screenings, uh, which is something I would urge for any woman to get the regular mammogram screenings. The earlier you can detect it, the better your outcomes are going to be. And um, so I, I think that's just super important is, you know, the you know, way to honor them is by taking care of your own health and being proactive and get these things done.